Because you gotta do your gravel voice. Nope. We, we leapt from your character to your other character. <laughs> nope. Voodoo doom. Probably have water. You should probably have water. Probably have water. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Wait. What? Where are we? This is where we left off last time we were them. They're kind of just walking, I think. Okay, I'm trying I, to just I, remember, like, what like general I, area in the world they are. Like, are they in I the think, alley still? Oh, well, they, they, were, they were going. Uh, the last thing they did was probably either encountering the other members of Achi's old gang or telling that other couple of people which way to go. Because they gave them directions, oh, okay. and that affects whether or not they go to, uh... Oh, yeah, they go the to Thomas' place. Or they go to Thomas yeah, Thomas. Place. Oh, right. I yeah, forgot these about people that let, made that happen. That, that was a long no, time we, ago. No, we avoided that from happening. Well, I mean, we did both. Well, yeah, we were yeah. forced to do one, and then we managed to get... Yeah, avoid... Okay. Well, we just All guessed. Right. We were like, uh, sure, here you go. Here's directions. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> let's see oh yeah uh, oh actually no we might have encountered the bad guys first in thomas storyline then encountered the direction moment in achi's and yes. undid that right yeah we did yeah because we were we were blocked off by that because remember the boss got taken away and so we couldn't get out of our costume yeah and at that time we didn't have context for how we yeah we didn't know that achi affected it yet because we hadn't played yeah. that yet and then we yeah. unlocked okay. it yeah i like how this game handles time yeah it's it's not What's the word I'm looking for? It's not convoluted and shitty like Zero Escape, but it is fun. still somewhat <laughs> confusing. Like you still have to try to be on your toes a little bit. I, I think the forward but, momentum helps so much, which I've said before. It's just the fact that well, you keep moving forward in time, not, and then you stop. Yeah. Like you don't, you not for you don't you don't spend the rest of the game dealing with the entire spread of all of time. Which specifically zero escape all the way up to the end you had to deal with the entire timeline from beginning to end and it was multiple times excessive yeah it told me look there it was a, a blue van had apparent uh, had appeared nearby parked in a spot that had been empty previously wait is that the van that blows up Oh Jesus! There was a band that blew up. Uh, Remember in the beginning, the very beginning of the the whole thing, it was like the guy was standing in front of the blue van. A timer was going down. A girl was in the van, and then boom! Get out of here with your ringtone. What? Didn't you hear the sound that just played in your room? <laughs> Wait, did you not notice that? No, I didn't notice that. that some was kind weird. of okay. some kind of tone played over your microphone. <laughs> Like a doorbell oh, or something. That's okay, that's weird. Um, <laughs> I don't anyways, know how you didn't yeah, hear I, it. I didn't. I uh, didn't. Are hear you it. talking about like the prologue? Prologue, like the first few seconds yes. of launching. Oh Jesus! Yeah, I, I think do that's not. The van, I don't remember dude. that. <laughs> so that you so think that was, was like because that was probably a flash forward, huh? Yeah, it was a like blue foreshadowing. Van. It was also that ugly. Right. That was like when there no was like. One, Establishing shots of the whole city and everything. That was so wow. Yeah. That was a while ago. Achi couldn't see who was inside, but there was definitely something fishy about it. Besides, there weren't any other blue cars around, so this had to be it. Why are we going to a blue car? Fuck, I don't remember this shit. It's fine, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> He'd been right. The crooks had come back after all. I'm gonna take a quick look, Achi said. Wait here. But before he could carry out his plan, Hitomi jumped to her feet. Without a word, she rushed toward the van. Is that doing her voice? Are that's, you doing her voice? Uh, that's, st that's still him. No. That's, that's still oh, Achi. Sorry. Hold on, I said wait. He wasn't slowing down. Damn, girl. <laughs> Achi caught hold of her arm. That's her whole body. Yeah, that's... that's <laughs> Achi caught her woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just Achi the whole caught, thing. Achi caught female. 
<laughs> Female acquired. This could be dangerous. What if the kidnapper's in there? And what if my sister's in there? I have to help her. Thought you knew full well what it was like to be impulsive. But this was one situation where cooler heads would have to prevail. We can't hang out here. We can't or just hang out fine. here, she insisted. What if the car takes off again? That's why I said I was going to take go take a look first. But isn't that dangerous? What if they do something to my sister because some random guy comes snooping around? Oh, huh. Yeah, you got a point. He capitulates a lot, doesn't he? Yeah. Shit, I didn't think about anything. <laughs> Actually thought as fast as he could. <laughs> How fast is that? <laughs> <laughs> the girl had told to tell me to get into the van. There had to be some specific reason for that. What if they were planning to abduct her as well? Whatever the case, he couldn't just let her go. Okay. He had, he had to, to make, make a snap, snap decision. decision. Uh... So... Go together, or Achi goes first? What I feel like if Achi goes first, what if they someone's just take her? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, I feel like if Achi goes first, someone's just gonna run from behind, grab her, knock Achi out, and throw her in the van. I feel like they should stick together. There is no send her first option where you, where he does backup if something goes wrong. Which, which I mean, would that's be not a less, branch. It would be less ideal. Yeah. She if would I remember just correctly, I, I, think she, I think she got a call when she was like. It's either she already knew that she was supposed to uh, capitulate to them, or she got a call in the club. I don't remember. Yeah, but I, I think either. she. But I think this was. Yeah, this was established though. Uh, probably go together, okay, right? Let's go together then. Does that work for you? Please, we have no idea who or what we might run into. Tell me, gave a slight nod. All right, she said. But let me go first, and you follow, okay? Oh, okay. That I so, guess this is the option keeps us talking Surprise, about. it's not right. the, what we said it was. <laughs> Why? Got it. Achi replied. Okay, whoever's in this van has to be able to see him and that they came together. Like, right? <laughs> no, they're like video game NPCs. You didn't enter their aggro radius. Fog right of war, there. fog of war. <laughs> that's like the that's the worst fog of war. You can't even see in front of you. Age yeah. of Empires had better fog of war. <laughs> Silent Hill fog of war. That opening part in Silent Hill Two, where Ugh. you're walking to the graveyard for like ten minutes, and you can all, you can only see like one foot in front of you. Or even Aren't worse, waited, is it? even worse, the lake. Oh, no, or it's just nothing. <laughs> oh, it's just a gray void that you're canoeing through. Yeah. Achi waited as Hitomi started walking, then followed her at a distance, so it wouldn't look like they were together. Ah. She that headed totally straight to the works. Van. Two men got out of the car, neither of them Japanese. Uh, I would say the guy on the left is clearly Japanese. The one on the right, though, kind of looks like a really shitty Nicolas Cage knockoff. <laughs> um... <laughs> Aji picked up his pace in case he needed to close the distance fast. One of the men approached Hitomi and said something to her. She gave an affirming nod. God damn it, come on, dude. <laughs> like, how obvious is this? This is like trope levels of obvious. Yeah, a bunch of weird people in black and sunglasses came out of an unlabeled van. What's gonna happen next? I hope they don't Are they pick gonna her give up me and candy? put her in there. I... I like how the choice was just a lie. <laughs> yeah. Like Apparently, it would, though, two men grabbed her from either side. Like, intuitively, you would think the choice would be send Achi first or send Hitomi first. And they are. But the, one of them's just not labeled correctly. <laughs> one of them is, let's yeah. go together, when that's not what happens. They drag her to the van and shove her into the back seat. Achi broke into a sprint. Achi broke into a blurry leg. Of course it was a trap. He couldn't guess what their whole plan was, but kidnapping Hitomi was obviously part of it. Really? <laughs> did you did you figure that out from the fact that they grabbed her and threw her in a van? But before also, he could reach the vehicle. Hmm? Also, just getting her was the demand, wasn't it? In the first, I don't think it was ambiguous. No, no, yeah, the entire... <laughs> I mean, the reason he saved her was from being kidnapped. 
Yeah. By a guy with a gun. But yeah, like, he, I, I don't. I don't know why he's surprised. And to be fair, it's like anime logic. Yeah, you know? I mean, Where, going along with the like, fan. I was gonna say going along with the van at all is weird, but I guess they do have the, they do have her sister is the issue. Yeah, the, she. I mean, she wanted to do it for the sister, but you know, this is like. Fucking like saucy yeah, levels where you're like, oh, I'm not surprised that guy betrayed us. I mean, he was like gloomy and no one was friends with him. Like, mm -hmm. obviously. But before he could reach the vehicle, the door slid shut. The van sped off an instant later. Wow. I mean, <laughs> that's a face. That's a that's, that's a, a hell of a face. Because this is Punch thriller. <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine if someone cut that out perfectly? and did the the slide panel like it was uh, for Smash Brothers. It's like, Achi joins the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Achi is thinking as fast as he can. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Poor Achi. <laughs> like what his side B is indecisiveness? <laughs> like Yeah. Oh, what is his, uh, recovery throwing cans? Achi raced after it. He ra uh, ran as hard as he could, thinking no of nothing else. He couldn't give up now. Couldn't let things end like this. Can't be over like this. I gotta tab out for a second. There we go. That music got so loud on my end. I'm trying to ear squint to hear you. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, I thought you were saying it was like feedbacking from my end. I was like, oh, no, I no, I had to turn down the game on my end because like the new music got so loud. I couldn't hear you. Oh, let's see. He made a promise. No quitting halfway and no turning his back on someone in trouble. That face. <laughs> we stayed on a long time. But the car kept getting further and further away as cars do when they usually. drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This car has left very far. In a straight line. <laughs> In a straight line. There's nowhere else for the car to go but straight. Um, uh, before long, it was just a blue speck that vanished into the cityscape. No. I don't think I've seen Christopher Walken in a movie since Seven Psychopaths, and that was a while ago. Look, man, he's old and he, also it, probably tired. Did he, did he retire? He's probably like eternal. Oh, tired. that's just an ending. Thought you never saw Hitomi again. Wow, we fucked up, dude. Yeah. Straight. Like 100%. We made a bad call and it gave us a bad end. Bad end. Lost Number side 10. of the van, dummy. <laughs> well, what you got bad gonna, eyes? Just something? gonna go back. Right back in All there. Right. <laughs> Hold on, let me grab, uh, let me grab my water real quick. Okay. Look, just let me go first. I don't want to put you at any risk. He told me his determination wavered at the look in Achi's eyes. Please, he continued. We have no idea who or what might run into. We might run into. If I think they're gonna try to run off again, I'll give some signal. Then you can come along, and I doubt they'll be interested in leaving then. That's a solid plan, actually. That sounds like a better plan than what was originally said to her in the beginning. I would have preferred if that was the option we could choose. Yeah, use her as bait to not have them take off if they start to take off. Yeah, like, I, I, I'm thinking it would be nice if you, you know, wrote what it is that it's... You know, like in this instance, this one choice I mean, is the maybe one Maybe this choice. maybe this will be a switcheroo too. We pick this, and then he just pulls out a giant lasso, and lassos the entire van, and now they're captured. Like, I mean, oh wow, what, what a crazy twist! We'll just ignore fucking... what the, what the text said. This isn't like Cowboys and Moo Mesa. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Okay, I heard that that time. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. Hold on, excuse me. What's going on? Fix your shit. Please, be careful. Will do. And tell me if my sister's in there. I will. You can count on it. Yo, your boy got some Heelys? Those are... Those are not what's, Heelys. What's on, the, what's on the bottom of your shoes over there? Not Heel... What do you think they are? I don't know. It's just a print. Uh, it, 
Oh, is it? Yeah, there's nothing on his shoes. They're just shoes. Oh, I thought there was like a no. weird like, he just, slot. He doesn't, to he doesn't have in. wheels or anything. Okay. <laughs> to be honest, I don't have my glasses on. And I'm looking at a TV that's far enough away. <laughs> you that it's remember hard when to... we discovered that you needed glasses? Because you just couldn't. <laughs> like, really, like, how is Andrew missing all these things and all these Let's Plays? And then we found out, because you're fucking blind. <laughs> yeah, I'm super bad at it. I mean, <laughs> I'm more impressed of You just the let first yourself play video at... games while blind for, like, years. <laughs> Fine. Once the migraines kicked in, then I knew it was time to get glasses. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> I was more impressed with like what and when actual... you got the glasses like wow yeah. look at all this stuff I can see why did I do that to myself I, I was really impressed games were like in HD they looked damn good you, I was like man that's when you, know, you discovered kind of like, HD for the first time yeah like games kind of topped out in 2010 for me because they stopped looking good yeah they just looked the same all muggy and they shitty look, they, and probably glasses on. they probably looked worse because it's nintendo 64 games had color contrast but 360 That's games true. have like brown yeah it <laughs> so was, they, it was they, a, it, they lost detail when they lost color because you weren't getting any of the actual detail i mean if i'm being honest here i beside uh after halo 3 i was never good at another first person shooter until overwatch <laughs> Probably because of that specific reason was like because I started going blind. <laughs> like, <laughs> that would do it. So, Jeez. and I didn't play Overwatch until I had glasses. So <laughs> my glasses. My glasses. Why aren't I'll you wearing your? You're you literally. Open. Why are you not wearing your glasses? You're doing a reading let's play. Oh, because I, when I'm high, it doesn't work. Like it's <laughs> really hard to use glasses. Um, your class? What? Wait, are you saying your glasses stop working? No, no, my eyes will go cross-eyed when I'm wearing glasses and I come high because my my fuck? eyes get lazy. They don't want to focus, so they'll like go lazy, and then the glasses are like, "Whoa, that's not how anything looks." You got to focus, and my eyes go. <laughs> so I just don't. I just don't wear them. All right. But I can look through them. So I mean, I've been looking through one of them with. So I have like one eye closed, and then looking through one to read. I just couldn't see his Heelys in the way I had it held, which we're, not Heelys. We're learning so much today. Look, I live my life <laughs> inefficiently. Yes. <laughs> but you it, live your I'm entire life hopping down, up and down on one leg. Basically, but it's okay. I, I made it here. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I mean, a lot of people died in the time that I've been alive. So I'm doing something right. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Achi stepped out into the open and started walking toward the van. He tried his best to look as if he wasn't paying any attention. Yep, I'm uh, yep, I'm just an ordinary passerby. As he got near, he tried to sneak a glimpse inside. The van's dark window film made it hard to see who might be inside or even how many people. He moved closer still to get a better look, or casually he moved closer. So casually, like ca whistling loudly. I was gonna say, was gonna say casually is probably <laughs> right in front of the fucking car, and they're gonna be like, "Yo, he could walked, you not?" <laughs> he walked like directly into the car, apparently. God damn it, Archie! Like, <laughs> fuck. Uh, let's go on the sidewalk, man. <laughs> Suddenly, the sliding door burst open, and several people jumped out. None of them were Japanese. Within moments, Achi was surrounded. Wait, okay. You keep saying that, but the one fucking guy, the guy who's clearly like four foot five, that guy no, he, is he's Japanese. he's just got glasses that make him look Japanese. No, not that guy, the I, other I one. I don't know why you think but he looks Japanese. He, the, the angle, well, the first time you saw a picture of him, he looked a lot more Japanese. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Hey, what's the deal? Achi said. He let out a little chuckle. Man, that thing must be packed. How many suits you got in that thing anyway? Took another step for, uh, toward the vehicle and looked inside. Yeah. Hey, okay. I mean, come on. Doesn't that guy look pretty no. Japanese? No. Really? No. He doesn't. Actually, I, he does look pretty Japanese. He looks like uh, my one brother. Of the <laughs> no, he what? No, he doesn't. <laughs> I think maybe the the like the generic white guy they hired does. <laughs> One of the men pulled a knife from inside his jacket, thrusting it out in Achi's direction. He'd probably meant it as a simple threat, but on reflex, Achi went into self-defense mode, kicking him right in the jaw. Jesus, Achi! <laughs> today God we learned, damn! Today we learned that sunglasses give Andrew face blindness. 
I'm telling you. Oh my. Oh my God. Yeah. None of his Cause friends because he's cousin. Him? It's because he's like, cousin Makiru. You. Like he'll destroy yeah, them. Is <laughs> he's, he gonna like, he just, throw he just, a car at somebody? He just used his heat action. It was a loud crack as his foot connected. Okay, so that guy just lost his jaw. The man dropped out like a light. The others stared, then rushed him. That guy. That guy's doing a shuffle with his vans on. Look at his little dumb vans on. <laughs> he looks like he's smiling. <laughs> he is smiling. He's like, oh, 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 where are you going? Like he's he's going to truffle shuffle left and right as he chases his guy. <laughs> well, this sure hasn't gone as planned. Uh, too late to take it back now. The damage was done. Achi, uh, Achi was just going to have to take out the rest of these punks, too. He nimbly shifted his feet, evading their initial attack. Having to take these guys on three to one wasn't going to be pretty. Achi! He heard a Tommy cry out. He heard a Tommy cry out. Oh. Crap. He hadn't, given, uh, he hadn't given any signal, but she had come out of hiding anyway. It told me, stay back. Intensity. How was he supposed to fight off three guys and protect her at the same time? What could he do? Shoot them. <laughs> what should he do? Tune in next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Is that Morpheus? What the fuck? Within moments, a number of passerby had gathered around the fight. Maybe they had heard Hitomi shouting. Hey, what's... Oh, wait. Is it, are these... Wait, who is this? Is this general audience? Hey, what's going on? Oh, my God. Is that a knife? This ain't just some pretty petty squabble. Somebody call Someone the police! Call the police! <laughs> some of them began taking photos with their cellular phones. Wait, is that Sakurai? Oh no, never mind. No. I thought that was him in the brown coat. I was like, damn, what you doing avoiding Smash development? You need to put glasses on. You can't see shit. I mean, <laughs> I can see that this guy, I think in the blue jacket, wasn't supposed to be there. He just accidentally <laughs> stumbled upon a thing because he does not look like he's ready. He, he's just like, huh? what's going on? One of the men uh, cursed in frustration, then signaled for his buddies to get back into the car. Achi couldn't stop them. The engine roared to life, and the van sped away. Knowing he'd never catch him on foot, Achi merely watched it go. Why? I mean, why not? What's no, I mean, I mean why'd they run away? Who cares if there's uh, spectators? Isn't the whole Probably point that they're... Aren't they intentionally I mean, slightly anonymous with the van and the sunglasses and everything, and they, the whole goal well, is, to, is to get away with the thing? Yeah, but if they're in the middle of a street brawl, like, it's... Unlike America, there's... Uh, there tends to be not that close, but there tends to be within a running distance a police station, like a small little police area where a cop yeah. will just sit there and wait. So it's faster for a police to show up to a crime. Um, and so I guess, if, I guess if so. It's just that they, this whole thing started as such a public spectacle to begin with, that them well, being so afraid of attention now yeah. is a surprise. I think it's more of just drawn out attention. Like the the trade off was supposed to be initially just a quick one two. You know, like it was, here's this, give me girl. And, uh, but this would be more of like, okay, we're going to, three of us are going to try to beat up this random, I don't know, <laughs> random guy in the and street. And very much fail. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, they, one guy, and also one of their guys is already knocked out. So it might be good to take, like, <laughs> consider. Did they even pick him up? <laughs> I hope did so. Did they mention that? <laughs> He's just, they didn't. He's just on the floor. All right, so they get I, away. That would be, that would be great. Bad end. <laughs> Achi never saw them again. Bad end. <laughs> he failed. This was his fault. All of it. Achi bit his lip. Hard. How could he possibly face Atomi now? Uh, you, you pretty much just turn around and it happens on its own. Oh, oh there she is. Or she's just standing in front of him. Achi. <laughs> <laughs> He's like looking above her. How could like, I face oh her God. now, staring directly above her? her head? <laughs> and then he just looks down. He's like, I did it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Achi stared down at his feet like a scolded child. I'm sorry. I, I didn't see whether your sister was in there or not. I see. The words were the words. So simple and matter of fact, stung him to the heart. I'm so sorry. But Hitomi simply shook her head. 
The fact that she wasn't even chewing him out made him feel all the worse. I know I messed up, but I'll, uh... He was going to say, I'll make up for it, somehow, but he froze with fear at what he saw next. Whoa! Uh -huh. <laughs> Across the street, staring at them, was the man with the cane. Dude, <laughs> dude seriously fucking limped all the way over here. MVP of this fucking organization. Yeah, Is he he's... gonna get, like... <laughs> he's the Agent Smith of this game, apparently. This fucking Just guy keeps showing up. Yeah. He is doing the hardest job here. Like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's Omi. It's him. They had to get out of here. Oh, God. He grabbed Tomi by the hand and bolted down Dogenzaka. He's got a gun. <laughs> the assassin followed, staying on his side of the road. Achi wasn't sure what to do. Should they try heading into the alleys and side streets again? No, it was more dangerous to head someplace where they'd be few. Or it was more dangerous to head someplace where there'd be fewer witnesses. Best to best to stick to Dogenzaka for now. The man wouldn't be able to gun them down if they managed to lose themselves in the crowd along the center guy first. Center I had to restrain first. myself from I... making another center guy joke. Just this ongoing thing, like yeah, it's more of a center guy. Besides, the guy had to use a cane. Achi and Hitomi could outrun him. Yeah, that it seems is... like running in a straight line would be the best chance you have. Look, Achi, you said that last time, and yeah. one. Well, they got stuck on you. stuff. Specifically because they were taking side streets, they were stuck on like debris and stuff they had to get past. True, but. Music, though. Yeah. Real intense. Just the same. Yeah, this fantasy yeah, star like, online I... menu music. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like the same three beats and then just some techno music in the background. Hand in hand, they sped along Dogenzaka and through the intersection in front of 109 building. Come on, Itomi, just a little further. Okay. She was panting, but she pressed on. Achi risked a glance back over her over his shoulder. It's him oh. and Mecha Legs. He stopped in surprise. What's wrong? Itomi asked. That guy, he's not following us. The slope leading down to the intersection wasn't all that steep. Oh. <laughs> Wait, 428 intersection? Whoa. No, it's just intersection. It always says 428 in the corner. It, well, no, um, it's the 428 refers to stuff that's specific. That's not world knowledge, but game knowledge. Like, it's specific yeah. to this game, as in fictional. Which is okay. that this is like a background description. Several plainclothes oh. detectives have been hiding amidst the crowd in the intersection as part of the kidnapping stakeout. Right now, Director Kuze is sending a message to all officers of the wireless, and so the detectives have stopped to listen in. It's a bit unusual, and an, an observant individual might notice. Are you saying that uh, that Achi won't? <laughs> So right now, all of the all of the people that were pretending to be normal people at the beginning of the game are all currently listening to something on their radios at the same time. That's really inefficient. Yeah, and he super doesn't notice. That just that description is telling us that that's something that's happening right now, which is probably why the gunman didn't follow us. But Achi's not picking up on it at all. Yeah. Also, there's clearly like a guy in the background on his phone. Yeah, but that's not individually weird. No, but I'm saying, like, they're showing it. Yeah. Go and uh, tell. See. <laughs> it wasn't strange that the gunman hadn't bothered to pursue. Still, there was no time to worry about his uh, this uh, about his behavior right now. They told me, can you still run? Yes, I'm all right. This is our chance. This way. Mickey. They needed to uh, they needed to put plenty of distance behind them before the assassin came after them again. But they also needed to find a van again and, or that, that uh, find the van again and rescue Hitomi's sister. Would they be able to find it and yet stay hidden from the man in, uh, with the cane? Achi wasn't sure one way or the other, but with the Tomi in tow, he hurried to on onward toward Center Guy. Sounds like it's time for an elaborate disguise. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, she's been chicken yeah. costume the entire time. <laughs> Another cutoff? Oh. oh wait, that's the that's the that's the hour two cutoff, I think. Yeah. 
That's we the, beat that's the, the hour. hour. Yeah. Is that the only one? I think it is. Well, it's the only one we've gotten to. Yeah. Noon. Time to wow. unjump. Oh wait. If we want to, since it's the last thing we were doing, I don't know. Wait. Whoa, whoa. We've been around. <laughs> so to be continued. Who else do we have left to finish? Everyone. What? Yeah. Oh. Kano died via the diet drink on the train. We jumped Wait, from Minorikawa. Kano? Kano's, Kano's the main character kind of guy. Or the other guy. The the, the agent. Oh, the police officer. Yeah, he right. hasn't, he hasn't gotten much screen time lately. Guy. Wow, I forgot yeah. about this guy. He got a bad Shit. end because he had the diet drink. Right, okay. But like, we were just here a moment ago, which apparently is about yeah. to be the end of Minorikawa's hour, so we could just, we could just finish that off. Because we jumped to Achi when his dad mentioned him. Yes. Yeah. So let's just, let's just finish that back? off. Sun. <laughs> I pressed the sun button. What was this guy's voice? It's your, like, nerd voice. The wavering, like, like oh, puberty okay, voice. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. As it happens, I'd also like to interview people from SOS. But without Where's the gravel. Yell, but... Huh? Oh, without the gravel. There's no gravel. That's your. That was your evil clown hobo voice. <laughs> yeah. So, so. Oh, with gravel. No, there's no gravel. You used gravel. Oh. Which made him sound like a Wait. lunatic. <laughs> Made him sound like okay, the, it made him sound like the guy from the Russian game. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shit, how did I do that then? Uh, 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 as it happens, like that. It's basically the voice I do. Or the as it happens. Like as it I happens, like I'd also that. like to interview people from SOS. Oh. As it happens, I'd also like to interview people from SOS. <laughs> Would you be able to put me in touch with your son? You sound like you're about to talk about a dirigible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, but you should know my son isn't in the that gang anymore. Oh. Minorikawa hesitated. Guess he's of no use to me then. Oh, believe me. I know how you feel. Damn! <laughs> Fucking sick burn. Shots from, like, fired from paternal dad. figures. Coming out of the fucking left field, dude. Oh, sadness shots. The look on Endo's face spoke volumes. <laughs> Damn. That's like, that's serious disappointment. <laughs> yeah. There was no point in interviewing Endo's son if he wasn't with the gang anymore. It he, figured that Minorikawa's run of good luck would end eventually. He could still know stuff. Yeah, I mean, he would still know Or the set ongoing. you up with connections. Still, he'd gotten a lead in the for, uh, form of a name, SOS. That was progress. Alright, so back to the matter at hand. He flipped his notepad back open. What did you decide to do about all the these juvenile delinquents? Set up a tiny little web camera in order to protect my property. Cameras designed <laughs> oh. to send video information to a computer via the internet. Look what? carefully. <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck? What is, is this dude? newfangled 2007 technology? <laughs> this is some like bullshit zero escape technology shit. There's no <laughs> way, man. I ain't buying that. Look carefully, and you can often spot them outside private residences and even on public streets, where they're installed for use in surveillance. Given the risks <laughs> of transmitted data being intercepted, the images recorded by such cameras are generally encrypted to prevent playback by unauthorized thir third parties. Many landmarks and attractions make their camera footage publicly available online. This reminds me of the thing where, uh... This reminds me of the thing where there was, like, people found that there was, like, like thousands of unencrypted cameras in people's houses and stuff like that. Yeah. That were, didn't have passwords even, and it's so, like, there was mm -hmm. just, like, a directory for them, which was terrifying. I also liked, uh... I like, I like the idea that j the, the game just tells you yeah, it's normal, guys. Just go outside. There's cameras fucking everywhere, right? Yeah. It's like, no, well, guys. Well, more so in weird. Japan. Well, it's in Japan. Well, it's yeah, more, but I mean... It's, it's, it's more common in Japan and England than here, where people are yeah. really paranoid about it. Countries with CCTV are pretty familiar with it, but it's still not... It doesn't make it normal. It makes it just you guys have been beaten down into submission no. of this weird 
fucking camera system. Like, <laughs> stop. Seriously, it's weird. I see. And I'm guessing the webcam did the trick. I'll point out that, like, well, Andrew's saying all this while he was, like, self streaming his own household for, like, weeks. Yeah, you had, like a multi, a... you had like a multi-camera setup that would film you around your own house with the motion detectors yes. and you were transmitting that to Twitch at all times of the day for some reason. <laughs> uh, but those cameras had passwords on them. So? <laughs> so, so people could access you... them without my permission. But you were streaming them to Twitch <laughs> like all yeah, day and sure. all night. The channel didn't the channel get banned because you can't stream yourself sleeping, basically. Yes, even though somehow somebody did. I'm not gonna mention names. <laughs> Some motherfucking asshole was able to stream without having to be awake, which is a fucking annoying injustice. Oh, H bomber guy. Yeah, this fucking asshole was asleep for yeah, like but, three but times. But the streams never stopped. Uh, they had people in voice chat the whole time. That, that's not the rules. The rules yeah, is you, but I just you, mean like this, there was some kind of stream happening, one way or another. But the, yeah, but it's the ho it, it's yeah it, the explicit rules is the host of the channel must be interacting. with I think the Twitch audience. looks the other eye when you're making huge amounts of money for charity. I could have or, been or making just huge when, amounts of money for Or just when you're charity. the biggest thing on their entire website. How would how would they know that until it happens? It did happen. I know, but for me, it could have. It could have they happened could... in time. They don't know. <laughs> Maybe they missed out. Uh, let's see. Who's talking? Uh, I think. Oh, I think it's me. Sure did. So now then, uh, and so then other local businesses heard about it and started asking me to install some for them. Web cameras aren't particularly expensive, so it wasn't too tough to send them all, set them up all over downtown. Oopsie. There we go. So who's in charge of these security cameras? Members of the downtown business committee take turns. The cameras are connected via a wireless network that... Whoa, we better explain what wireless networks are. Don't, man. You better a not be land. telling me it's about how you can send internet over oh communications my God. without wires. You can wires send information from mind. a computer to another computer. Can you play video games that way? <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I'm used to that. Yeah, yeah. that's just a LAN. That's nothing yeah. impressive about that. A LAN, that. or local area network, is a means by which people play Factorio locally. Anyway. Uh, yeah. that, Wait, are you not that, reading that? Do you want to read it? A communication I mean, I system that can only be used within a limited geographical area. A wireless LAN transmits using electronic signals. Ooh. What? That's fake bullshit. Why, fake that's news. Magic. Next, like, you're going to tell me the Earth's round. I, mean, I was going to say next, you're going to tell what? Uh, I was gonna say next. Next, you're gonna tell me you can just like get electricity from wall outlets. Like that's some Whoa, crazy bullshit. Whoa! You just like stick it in and like. Yeah. Edison happens. Like, just, it's like yeah, like you don't have to go outside and farm for it by putting <laughs> kites in the air. Yeah. And getting you know, next to Luke's moisture farm, there's an electricity farm where they grow electricity lightning bolts out of the dirt. <laughs> That would be weird. <laughs> yes, that's where this got weird. <laughs> Although convenient yeah, I mean, because it does not require cable attachments, there's a risk of signals conveyed in this way being intercepted by a third party. They're saying that uh, a lot, almost as if that there's going to be a signal intercepted by a third party in this game. Almost as if maybe someone's going to have to use this wireless network in order to gain access to the entire yeah. T of Shibuya. Or something he's doing. Woo. The cameras are connected via a wireless network that business owners can access throughout the, the area. Because we had an ending that basically seemed to be dropping the fact that he's secretly the villain, remember? Who? The dad. Oh, yeah. We had a weird ending where Achi, like, didn't make any contact with any of the actual plot, and then just went home, and dad was like, I'm the villain! <laughs> like, some, he just said something cryptic and creepy, like, that seemed to go that way. How's your security for this wireless network? Oh, no problems on that front. Endo seemed surprised at the question. All the footage sent over the network's fully encrypted. 
Encryption is the process of encoding data so that it is indecipherable by a third party. <laughs> We're really heavy on this. Restoring encrypted data to its initial form requires what is called a key, a program designed for this purpose. There are two main types of such crypto cryptographic systems. Secret key crypto systems use the same key for both encryption and decryption. Public key crypto systems use a public key to encrypt the data, but require a private key known by the recipient in order to, to decrypt. This is a... Uh, I wonder if this was more necessary to explain 12 years ago or whatever when this game came out. No. No. The normal people, though? No. I mean, if you said the word encrypted, people would know it meant, like, secure. Yeah, and then zoom in and enhance. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't, you don't need to get into, like, exactly the difference between yeah. wireless network security systems. Like, no one's asking. You didn't say, like, yeah, the network is fully encrypted over TK or, you know, T uh, that. Uh, keep, uh, yeah, it's I fine, name, but whatever. still. <laughs> yeah. But still, uh, people can't feel good about being recorded on camera without their knowledge, don't you think? Minorikawa asked. The, the shopkeeper's, shopkeeper's expression, expression darkened. darkened. I don't know why I read that. <laughs> we hope to strike a balance between crime prevention and protecting individual privacy. Ah, and who determines what that balance is? Minori Kawa let out a, no, uh, a note of challenge slip into his voice. That would be me. I've been entrusted with the management of the security cameras. I see. That's a cam that's a that's a camera angle. <laughs> so essentially you're providing your own moral oversight. Are you implying that I'm abusing my authority? Endo shot back. I'm doing this in the name of public order. That's what the villain always says. <laughs> right. You've had your five minutes. Now get out of here. The shopkeeper stood up and headed into the back. I'll be sure to let the wandering angels know about the dry ice machine. Minorikawa hollered at the closing door. Episode Thank 2. <laughs> when Aki Omi Mondo didn't show up at the theater at the meetup time, production assistant Yukio Tozuka went on to call him to call on him at his apartment. Upon arriving, Tozuka found that the place had been stacked out staked out by debt collectors. Mondo had borrowed 300,000 yen, and they wouldn't leave his home until he paid up. It looked like the only way to save Mondo was to give the debt collectors the operating funds for the theater. But before Tozuka could head back to relay this news, the props master Shinichi Bando showed up, continued in episode three. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I think I think we've already had an episode one too. There's just like a bizarre parallel storyline in, in a game already about parallel storylines. Yeah, wait, what is happening? I'm getting kind of. I think this is the equivalent of the Blasto stories in Mass Effect. Oh. About okay. The Hanar going on secret adventures. Like this is just a bizarre secondary, like extraneous story to add to the list. Endo didn't reply. To your sass. To be continued. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh. Minori Kawa had gotten enough of a story to put an article together, so he decided to hurry to a coffee shop and get started on some coffee. This is music, by the way. Well, <laughs> is that a Pokemon backpack? Uh, I don't know. It's not much to go on. It's he was just making a little... his way down along Dogenzaka when his cell phone rang. The incoming call displayed showed Ch uh, Ch uh, Chiaki's name. Hey, could you answer that? Hey, thank you. Yucky, what's going on? Oh, it's no use. You sounded like she was on the verge of tears. What's no use? Take this! <laughs> I can't do this. I just can't talk to people passing by on the street. What? Why not? It's just that everyone seems so busy when they're walking past. If I try to interrupt, then they're gonna be all mad at me. Are we never gonna see this character the entire game, apparently? <laughs> so they just don't have a character to play them? An actor to play them? Well, who the hell cares if they get mad? Minorikawa was ready to start ripping his hair out. I don't want them to be mad at me. He whimpered again. Well, it wasn't about what she... Well, it, well, this wasn't about what she wanted, was it? 
She was supposed to be working, not whining. Look, Jiaki, you need to get more, uh, give me those interviews, period. Do I make myself clear? He hung up before she could squeeze in an objection. How distracting is it to read when something behind it's moving? I was about to point out that two <laughs> things. One, that moving GIF makes it really hard to read. And two, the GIF is also letters. So it's even harder yes. to read because you're putting letters over letters, which is just like... <laughs> this probably made more sense maybe in Japanese because they probably had the sound only was probably in English to look cool, prob like possibly. Yeah, it's so probably or Japanese. Yeah characters and it's like yeah whatever i can read <laughs> like you know damn it minori kawa muttered just what i needed one more thing to worry about he pulled at his hair a few times then cast his worried gaze in the direction of shibuya station <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man. Did you not see my Twitter update? I said Japanese jazz is the best jazz. <laughs> like, yeah, two down. We did it. Two down. Everyone else is fucked. Well, I mean, Os o Osawa is all. Oh wait, hold on. Is Osawa still on the first time we fucking met him? Uh, kind of. He's oh never left. That He's always been in that room this entire time. Yeah, he's never Still stood. There. He's never stood up yet. <laughs> Compared to he's, all the it's, other it's, characters, Osawa's just been sitting in a chair the entire game. Well, I guess to be fair, I do that at work too. Yeah, no, that's just just but realistic. I guess it. I guess when you compare it to like Achi or Kano, or uh, yeah, Achi Kano or Minori Kawa, it's like okay, Osawa. You're yeah, not everyone's getting you shit get done, again. and Osawa's just. Chilling out. What? What? He's what? He's still reading the this? same fucking emails. <laughs> like calling Makino. I don't remember why we stopped here. I don't either. Like, did Makino <laughs> authorize the trials? I, I mean, know what we could do. We must have got a. Did we get a bad end that got undone by somebody else's storyline? Maybe. Because we probably stopped at that point because it stopped. I would assume. Oh. Oop. I don't know, man. Only one way to find out. After a time, Osawa could feel himself growing calmer. Sorry, I was trying to remember if it was me or you who did this guy's voice. Yeah, yeah, I was hit this guy in Kano. I don't okay, okay. I don't remember this it that well, but still. <laughs> he took a nice deep breath. And we did one of these two, which I guess we did. Oops. I guess we just tried to chill out last time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe we. No. Because that's why it's grayed out, because we already did that one. We tried to banish our, our yeah, this... nerves completely. Oh, yeah, yeah. We did get stuck in the music. That's right. And it, like. I think that was the ending. The ending was we just listened to music and then it just moved on. I had to remind myself what happened. We let the mod, yeah, we let the music take over. Like, oh my god, I'm so great. Where it's, it's, we're, it's, it's, it's it, we feel the music, and then we got really calm. And then, oh right, the guy interrupted. Yeah. Oh, is this new or not? <laughs> I can't tell. No. Huh. I remember this. This is like the detective. Cause this is the this guy's daughter got kidnapped. Remember? Oh are, wait, are the, are, are the daughters this guy's kids or shit? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think that's it. Is it? He'd be in a way more tense situation if there was a um, existing kidnapping he knew about. Wait, is this all new? I don't remember I can't this. tell. I, I, do we need to check our old video? Um... This, not, this might all be new. Can you just keep pressing X all the way through? Because, I mean, I, I'll just try... 
I mean, worst case, it brings us to an end, but we haven't finished everybody else, so we can't. We don't go to the next hour. So worst case, we just go back a little bit, pick the option again, and just start from there. Yeah, I think I might just rewind. Yeah, I'm not. I'm trying not to read it or at least take it in. I'm just trying to like see if I can remember any of this. <laughs> I'm not remembering any of this. No. I think I would remember this fucking weird shit. Yeah, we need... Okay, yeah, we yeah. need to go back. Because okay. we made progress. Why the hell did... did we must have stopped for the day. We must have that stopped must for have the day. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. We at least had one session where we had to stop because the hard, our actual setup stopped working. Did it? Yeah. <clears throat> when you had the... Uh, when you uh, briefly were in like a motel or something, and you're like, "I'll try oh. to use this internet," and I'm like, "This internet doesn't work." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that okay, session. Yeah, had to, yeah. That session like got aborted. Hey God, I, yeah, I yeah. It's, it's been a been while. So, I've been here enough now that I kind of forgot that that country doesn't allow voice communication. Yeah, there's a lot of really like weird uh, restrictions we had to work around. Yeah, I just, it, I guess, being the moment you come back to a civilized world you're like oh yeah i could just open up a chat call the internet and call is somebody. just open and not full yeah, of the bullshit it's just fucking the internet <laughs> like, it's almost like that neutrality the... is important <laughs> i mean it's important to someone's bottom line da -da 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 -da. first he took a nice deep breath then he closed his eyes and tried to banish his nerves completely inclining his head toward the music he could feel the melody pervade his body he could scarcely believe that there had been a time when he hadn't cared about music. Surely something that had such a strong effect on the body and mind alike also conveyed a deeper meaning. Masawa let the positive energy flow through him, booing his spirits. At last, when his mood had sufficiently calmed under the music's influence, Osawa reached for the handset. You want to just come up with something? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Well, the, what? Oh, I don't know what I want this guy's. Because I'm afraid I'm gonna give him a fucking voice, and he's gonna come back. <laughs> and he's gonna, gonna come me. back forever. Because it's done it like twice now that I've given a <laughs> shit voice to somebody, and it's haunted me. So yeah, but half the time you be... know they're gonna be the main character, and you're like, I'm gonna give this guy gravel voice. I'm like, why'd you do that? No. <laughs> we knew Achi was know. like the main guy. <laughs> no, we thought Achi. He might wasn't be the a main side guy. character. <laughs> He's one of the five, at least. Well, you pick honestly, him on the character was... select screen. I honestly thought he was. He's not the much. taxi I mean, he driver. Kinda, <laughs> he was kind of quiet for like the majority of the fucking start of his route. <laughs> ah, any case. Uh... <clears throat> oh, Mr. Osawa, did you have to make a phone call? The study door had opened, and a stolid-faced man had appeared in the doorway. It was Yoshio Kajiwara, one of the detectives from the Shibuya Precinct. A detective with the Shibuya Precinct's Criminal Investigation Division. He is sociable, but awkward, and despite his reserved personality, he can be quite unsettling. His colleagues at the precinct refer to him as nicknames such as Japanese Columbo and Little Ken Takakura, given his own quirky demeanor as a detective. He's wow. Japanese that's... Columbo. Damn. That's <laughs> okay. Fucking... This is some fucking like police brutality. <laughs> he struck oh Osawa God, as a bit too soft spoken and meek for a detective, really. And his treatment of the kidnapping case gave an impression of flighty detachment that made him <laughs> seem rather undependable. Ah, no, it's nothing important. Osawa drew his hand back from the phone. <coughs> Have there been any developments, Detective? Kajiwara shook his head apologetically. <coughs> Sorry. I don't know why my throat's hurting. Is it from all the gravel voice you just did for an hour? Or all the smoking? I can't, I can't even voice. begin to guess. It's not the smoking, for sure. <coughs> oh, wow, your voice gave months. out. Do you have water? <clears throat> <laughs> we're about to listen to Andrew die in this episode. 
I'm just gonna hear something, a thump and something fall over him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck was happening? <laughs> oh, I was gonna like die from- You're going into shock. Know, Voice acting shock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any case. All right. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wh whose lot am I reading? It's oh. you. I'm sorry to bother you, but when you're finished in here, would you be so kind as to come to the living room? All right. Asawa said quietly, I'll only be a little longer. Kajiwara nodded and departed. He took a nice, deep breath, and then he dialed up Makino. Or Makino, probably. Has there been any... Oh, it's Makino. We needed to... Who's, who the fuck is... Who's Makino? We need more, a morally questionable associate voice. It's the person he's calling uh, to figure out if there was human trials. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how you feeling, Andrew? See. Just like... Has there been any progress? Uh, is that like... New I'm trying to be like neutral here. Trying to be like high and middle and low and... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I don't understand kind of, you, little Roy. I'm afraid I'm going to give a... Oh, his voice was somber. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Has there been any progress? <laughs> Jesus, don't stop doing that to yourself. Why do you do this to yourself? Perfect. <laughs> Just follow my lead. His voice was somber. No, Asawa said. Nothing much yet. A tiny sigh came in from the other end of the line. Uh, I see. Then what can I do for you? Sir, I'll just get right to the point. Have you conducted clinical trials using the antiviral drug? Makino didn't respond right away. What makes you think that? He asked at last. Osawa described the emails he'd received. Ah oh, yes, here's my shelf of emails. <laughs> 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 when he'd finished, Makino let out his breath in surprise. Not over the phone. We'll discuss this in person. Why do you skip the the in-between stuff? Oh, sorry. I... Because it's just... All it is doing is just... It works in a novel sense, but it doesn't work as a acting sense. If that... If that is... Acting! Well, if you can understand. The, I, the yeah. idea is that I'm trying to read it to somebody, and it would make less sense if... I am putting a voice on, reading a part, stopping, and then saying, like, he said, <laughs> oh, or go on without me. Oh, wait, never mind. My computer just turned the screen off. There we go. Uh oh. Fixed it. I was like, oh, okay. the just turned off. Yeah, uh, don't break, we'll, computer. Yeah. We'll discuss this in person. I'll head over to your place when I'm done here. As soon as possible, sir. As soon as I can manage. Uh, Makino said. You're not the only one who's busy. I really wish these were color-coded. Yeah, no, that could have been the other person speaking for all I know. It's hard to say. Yeah. With that, Makino hung up. There was no doubt about it then. There had been human testing. Osawa went to let T uh, Tanaka know he'd been meeting with Makino. <laughs> it's really creepy. Kashiwara stood in the hallway. He looked like he'd been waiting there the whole time for Osawa to come out of the study. Are you hungry? Here, I've got something that's good for you when you're tired. Kashiwara then slipped a hand into his suit pocket. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> he pulled Wait, out a banana. Did this a man fruit just belonging... pull <laughs> Yes, he did. He pulled out a banana. A fruit belonging to family Muscae genus Musa. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, was a huge lover of bananas. Okay? Oh, oh, oh. And the peanut butter oh, and bananas. banana sandwich is said to have been his favorite. If a oh, banana oh. peel is dropped, even, uh, dropped under even remotely comedic circumstances, there's a high chance that somebody will eventually slip on it. Oh, mama. <laughs> Uh, I just had I had a really good peanut butter sandwich today. That that's it, just peanut butter, nothing else. Yeah. So I 
instead of bread, I took uh, two of those like cinnamon raisin breads and toasted them and then, then put peanut butter between them. I'm like, this is great. <laughs> this was a good idea. Okay. It's, it's just, it's just, a, it's actually what I ate right when we were, right before we were starting. And it, I Wait, wanted to dinner? share. Well, it was my, I need to eat something before we record for two hours solution. Oh, okay. I, I understand. Otherwise I'll be sitting here not having food in me for two hours. I'm fine. Thanks. Asawa said. Kajiwara seemed to lack a detective sense of situational awareness. Just being around him got on Asawa's nerves. Well, sir, I need you to come with me, the detective said. If you don't mind. He took Osawa by the arm. I sure didn't just grab his whole body like someone. Yeah. As Kajiwara hurried him toward the living room, Osawa could hear other detectives talking on the other side of the door. He's working at a time like this? Seriously? Sheesh, I do not get rich people and their priorities. Yeah, I feel bad for his daughter. His dad's a real piece of work. See, I think, I think he's the one who does have kidnapped daughters. Dude. Maybe. I think he's just a work of fucking holic. Yeah, because it did say at a time like this. Because I, yeah. I was saying, like, maybe it wasn't his daughter that was kidnapped because his, his, like, priorities, like, what he's doing seems weird. But maybe he is just, like, hiding from the fact that his co daughter's kidnapped and not engaging with it in that moment. Yeah. Because that, that must be why there's a whole panel of people in his room is because they're actually looking for his daughters right now. Yeah. Nice. They were bad-mouthing him in his own house. Oh, oh, which means the people who kidnapped his daughters are the one who emailed him that message. Probably. Yeah, that's probably it. Kajiwara. Oh, uh, I'm really sorry about all that. Kajiwara said, pausing in embarrassment. Osawa pushed past him and opened the door. I heard you was talking to shit. Took the mate. That guy's that guy That's blinked. Uh... That one guy blinked. What? On the left, that one guy blinked. Oh no, he did. <laughs> they all had a role maintaining eye contact except one guy. <laughs> he wouldn't have blinked if he had hair. <laughs> wow. What the fuck? It's just the two ways he stands out. <laughs> I mean. What if he didn't Damn. have hair, blinked, and wasn't wearing glasses just to keep having a weird amount of one guy standing out of the six people? Oh my god, wait, yeah, they all have glasses. They all have glasses, and everyone but him did not blink and has hair. <laughs> wait, is one of them a white guy? I can't tell. No. You're really bad at this. No, and my that... TV's just really dark. I can't, can't see the one guy. I can't see the guy on the far left. It's too dark. What? Is wrong with your TV? <laughs> a number of police detectives had holed up in the living room. They went suddenly silent as Asawa entered. So tell me, he said sarcastically, would you rather I stay here weeping as I watch this disaster unfold? The detective winced and grimaced. Forgive me for not being a perfect father, he added, his hostility building. Kajiwara stepped forward to intervene before things got out of hand. Now, now, let's not be touchy. I am not being touchy, Osawa snapped. But he knew full well that, that he was. Osawa, come on, man. These guys had the time to sit around and backbiting him, but not to go out and bring Maria to safety? Already close to half a day had gone without any new developments. The ransom demand had come, had come in the previous night at eight o'clock. Maria had been abducted roughly an hour before. I guess this is like the the ransom call. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow, ten a.m. by Hachiko in Shibuya. Have the sister, Hitomi, bring 50 million yen. If not, the girl's life is forfeit. 
The kidnapper called only once, so the police were unable to, re to run a trace. I'll do it, Hitomi said. Anything for my sister. She didn't hesitate in the slightest at the suggestion that she make the ransom handoff. Osawa was staunchly opposed to the idea, but the police were of the opinion that it was better to acquiesce to the kidnapper's demands. Ai's reaction, on the other hand, baffled nearly everyone. This is the mom, I think? Oh, this is the mom? Yeah. We don't have 50 million yen <laughs> just lying around. Are you please going to be putting that together for us? Kajawara stepped in to reassure her. If it comes down to it, the police will be able Wait, to help raise the money. Shit, you're right. Whoops. If it comes down to it, the police will be able to help raise the money. Okay, go ahead and do it. We'd need you to pay it back afterwards, though, of course. <laughs> well, what, then what's the point of that? Ice voice spiked up to a piercing shriek. <laughs> uh, so I was right on the money, so... Uh. I mean... Calm down, Asawa told her. You're making a scene. I turned away in a huff. It's all right, detective, Asawa continued. I'll talk to the bank first thing tomorrow morning and figure something out. At that, I stormed out of the room. Kajiwara bowed his head several times <laughs> in apology. Can you get a loan from the bank for kidnapped daughter ransom like, <laughs> like can is you that... go down there and just be like look guys daughter got kidnapped need 50,000 yen don't worry if about it, it back, they're insured yeah, like, <laughs> like worst case it's stolen and I have to pay it back later best case they give me my daughter back cause they get caught and I give you the money back deal deal <laughs> like <laughs> yeah I think, I think this is Kajiwara Ooh, which one? Oh, as soon as Satomi has made contact, we'll apprehend the suspect and take things from there. Wait, hold on. Won't that put Maria in danger? We let the kidnapper get away with the money. We have no proof that he will return the hostage safely afterwards. There was a certain logic there. Osawa had to concede. I see, he said. So you're saying that catching this guy will be easier for you? If he keeps my daughter hostage. No, no, that's not what I was implying at all. Kajiwara wiped the sweat off his brow and bowed profusely. At least I promise we'll get your daughter back safe and sound, Mr. Osawa. Obviously, there was nothing to be gained from further challenging the detectives. All right, then. I'll let the police do their job. Osawa bowed even lower than Kajiwara had. Oh, it's a bow off. I mean... Fight to... <laughs> how dare you insult these people's culture? Rude. 